As you know, Vim has modes. In normal mode, you're giving commands to move around or take actions on text. In insert mode, you're actively inserting text. Well, visual mode gives us the ability to select blocks of text at a given time. And it's like clicking and dragging your mouse around. We'll see there are a few other scenarios that are actually things that are less easy to do in many text ed editors than they are in Vim. To go into visual mode, you press the V key. So I press V and now I'm in visual mode and notice that as I move my cursor around, I'm selecting some text. So let's say I selected just this uh, phone number uh, along with the number 232, right? And if I press D, I take the delete action and notice it's gone. I've deleted it to my default register. If I press shift P, I can paste it again. If I paste it somewhere else, we see that I've deleted that text. And so this allows you to select within uh, some specific area and know exactly what it is you're gonna select without having to remember the exact way of targeting that location in normal mode. So this is pretty handy. Uh, just like with normal mode, you can yank with Y. And now if I were to paste, we would see that what I had yanked gets pasted. Okay. You can change text from visual mode as well. So if I uh, go to visual mode and I press C now, I'm changing what text was there. And remember, change removes the text, puts it in your default register in your clipboard so that you can paste it later and then puts you right into insert mode. Right, so this is the default visual mode. It's much like selecting text by clicking and dragging with your mouse. There's a line mode that allows you to select lines at a time and allows us to work in ways that are similar to what we just saw. So let's try line mode out. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna press the capital V or shift V to go into line mode. And you'll notice that as you move your cursor around, you're selecting entire lines. Now we can carry out the same commands as before. D is going to delete those lines. I'm gonna undo that. Uh, if I were to press C, I could change those lines. I could yank multiple lines at a time, for example. So I can yank those three lines and then paste them uh, just as you would expect. Right? The common use case for visual line mode though is indentation. So if I go to visual line mode and then I press the greater than symbol, notice that I indent and remember the dot character, the period, will repeat the last command and that re-indents, right, and continues indenting. Uh, once again, if we wanted to unindent, I can go to visual block mode and use the less than symbol. And here, if I press dot again, I can continue unindenting that same sequence of uh, lines, right? And so that's a very handy way if you're trying to indent or unindent some code, uh, you can do it like that, right? The third mode of Vim is the visual block mode. And so visual block mode is actually uh, one of my favorite ideas in this visual context in Vim. And to, to get into visual block mode, you press control V. Right? And so you press control V and now notice you can select down a line. You can even select in a block that's rectangular that doesn't include the ends of a line, but includes some part of each line, but many lines inclusive, right? And so if I wanted to uh, delete all of those characters, I could do it just like that. Uh, I can paste those characters before where my cursor is by pressing the shift P again, right? So notice I'm pasting ahead. I could also paste after where my cursor is. Uh, and that's pretty cool, right? But this is also something that we can uh, use to say comment our code. So I'm gonna go control V, move down a few lines. And now the key for inserting and going to insert mode is a little bit special here. We're trying to insert in a line mode. So we have to use the shift I, capital I, and it looks like we're only going to be inserting in one single line. But when we go back to normal mode and press escape, you'll notice that any line that we had selected that change to happen in, uh, it would have been applied to all of those lines in the visual block mode. So let's say I wanted to change these three characters in all of the lines to nines. I can use visual block mode and press the C key followed by 999. And when I escape, you'll notice that I've changed those lines to 999. Just like with deletion, if I paste what I had before, what was stored in my default uh, register, 
the things that I, the content that I just changed can be uh, repasted from there. Just like with uh, the ability to cut, copy, and yank into specifically named registers, if I were to address a register here, like say register O, and then uh, delete what I had there, if I view my register content, you'll notice that register O has inside of it the contents that I just deleted. So uh, all of these visual modes you can delete or copy into named registers just the same as you would uh, doing it from normal mode. Once you get comfortable with visual mode, it's a really handy way of quickly uh, doing things with text that uh, you would normally have to use the, the, your mouse and keyboard for, and, and makes quick work of uh, many different textual editing jobs 